guys, Stasis here and today we're playing a game called Galactica. Don't forget if you like the videos to hit the like button and subscribe for more. This is basically a game about running a space hospital. <laughs> uh, looks pretty cool. It's on our uh, Xbox Game Pass Greetings, for PC. Director. So I thought we'd check it out. first to congratulate you on your appointment. Ms. Orion and I are excited to see how you'll rise to the occasion. We're establishing our first facility right here in orbit around Earth. Ms. Orion is already on site. Let's get this thing kicked off, shall we? Let's do it. Glistening before you and silhouetted against the green marble of Earth is Galacticare's newest high orbit station and your first hospital. I am Heal, the AP assigned to all of Galacticare's extrasolar operations. Think of me as your personal assistant, for it is my duty to assist you in all things healthcare as we strike out amongst the stars. Soon, patients from all throughout the solar system will darken our halls, bringing with them all sorts of awful maladies and excretions. Medibots on standby, Director. Before Hi, then, Ms. Cool. Ryan wishes to fire the starting gun personally. I'm sure we'll be receiving a call from her any moment now. Yeah, and there she is! Ooh. Incoming calls will wait indefinitely. Take your time to answer them when you're ready to continue. Okay. <laughs> The prompt at the bottom right of your user interface will answer her call. There's no rush. Contacts will wait for you to answer. Cool. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Moshi Moshi Director. And welcome to Galacticare. It's time to bring this dream of ours to life. I can't wait to see this hospital up and running. Personally, I'm not one for all this nitty gritty management stuff. I'd much rather be in the lab. So that's why you're here. Remember, if you ever feel lost, you can review your objectives in the top right corner of your interface. Take it away, Heel! Thank you, ma'am. Director, let's start with a particularly fun section. Calibrating sensors and perspective. Yes, we'll be panning, rotating, okay. and even zooming your camera. Both in and out, mind you. Thrilling stuff. Your objectives should be displayed now. If they're not, then everything is broken. And We've it may be simpler that. for you to resign. Look at us go, spinning around like a gyro. I feel fatally ill. Now, there was something else I was supposed to be doing. Oh, yes. There's the hospital. Patients and preventing death, profit, and so on. Very well, then. To do healthcare, we will require both a reception desk and a diagnosis room. Let's first place a reception desk so that we can process patients as they arrive. I've highlighted the menu oh, in which you will find more said desk. One. Oh, it's got little robots on it. Okay, this is really cool. Do they come in this way? Which way do they come in? Hard to know. That actually looks like it's the way. Do you know what? Just to be safe, should we just go in the middle? Wonderfully placed. Now all we need is a diagnosis room. Ms. Orion should be calling with the details momentarily. The diagnosis room is our patient's first step on the road to recovery. It's where we evaluate what's gone wrong with their meaty bodies. Also, tiny spinny drones come out of it, which is very cool and entirely necessary. Okay. Let's get that diagnosis room up and running. If you're ever unsure what to do, select any of your objectives and I'll help to point you in the right direction. Oh, With the room selected, you can now begin to place the blueprint. Choose a starting point, shape it to your desired footprint, and click build to confirm. Wonderful. Uh, however, an empty room will not by itself facilitate the healthcare. We must first place a door and then the room's required object. Yeah, that's the diagnosis room ready. Now we'll need a treatment room. Ms. Orion will be in touch with the juicy details. Skin! Everyone has it. Unless they have an exoskeleton. Or nothing at all. Ooh, the skin crazy. lab uses proprietary chemicals to coat our patients in a gentle foam, which strips off their outsides and rebuilds them from scratch. It's relatively painless. I use the skin lab instead of a shower sometimes. Well, that seems crazy, but okay. Excellent. We have our first rooms. More to come, I'm sure. However, I think there's still something oh, missing. Oh, yeah, we need staff. As we're a healthcare organization, we will need some doctors. Pop open doctors? the recruitment menu on the left-hand bar and review your various candidates. 
And there they are, Director. <laughs> they you are. can see their name, species, and them. traits that are unique to them. We currently have old and human candidates, and are restricted to them for reasons which I can assure you are culturally sensitive. I'm certain you'll come to find the unique traits of the galaxy's different sapiens particularly helpful for your work. Choose a candidate when you're ready. Reduce damage to patients, increase damage to treatments. Oh my god, I don't know. Okay, let's go with you. You can you place that doctor seem like you're you okay. Like, even directly in a room. They all which will have a... as their primary task. Like bad parks. Um. Let's go for this one. Excellent work. Your new staff will set about their tasks in your rooms, aiding our soon to be patients. Doctors gain experience as they work. And more experienced doctors are, as you'd imagine, better at things. Due to capitalism, staff require payment on a regular basis. So do be sure not to overhire and inflate your expenses. An excellent set of rooms and doctors, Director. They're not happy about that. will surely excel at treating patients. You should be commended for your ambition. Speaking of which, your legally mandated commendation, known in human society as payment, is yours to claim. Thank you. We're ready to open the hospital. Let's see if we can't get our patients back to their rent pods in one piece. Ready to begin? Yep, let's do it. And away we go. Time to treat some of these poor fellows. Patients are arriving now, Director. They shall scuttle about our hospital and deposit their various detritus within its once sterile halls. The Ode are a curious bunch. Although they're all clones, they revere old age, they're competing clones? with each other to see who can live in any one body the longest. Once they retired from their dreams of galactic empire, they oh, developed they an like odd fascination with things. humanity. It began with crop circles and cow abductions and <laughs> ended up in appropriating the most problematic parts of 1950s earth culture, surf rock and traditional gender roles. All right, here we go. First patient. They look like they've broken their arm. I'm not sure I can help them with that. Okay, lots of people coming in. All right. Do I need to build my staff like a staff room? Humans, we love them. They are us, sometimes. Not always, though. Humans are a lot of things. And one of those things is that they're social beings. They'll improve our influence whenever they complete treatments. Also, they've accidentally engineered a dystopia where corporations have become kingdoms. I feel like I need so that's chairs. Great. Uh, sorry. That's a conversation for another time, I guess. Oh, there's chairs with uh, plants. Maybe we've received a patient with a shattered arm. Let's inspect them and see if we can't mend their appendage. Oh, yeah, in a second. I've just realized that there's... Oh, that's cool. I'm just spending all the money now. What am I doing? Sorry. I've done for. Behold the patient panel. Okay. I've highlighted the condition track. This oh, fellow's condition requires them to be reboned, and for that, we'll need a boning chamber. All right. How do I do that? Then? The Hello. boning chamber. A retrofitted mining machine build from here? which yep. chomps fresh minty new skeletons directly into our patients. An assistant engineer like fitted the schematic need... oh, with internal yeah, that's, cameras that's for personal reasons. That'll teach me to poach staff from Salazan. Anyway, that's all fixed How and it's I... mostly safe. Mostly. Oh, there we go. Standard ah, the boning chamber. A fine room indeed. I do rather admire the machine in there. Rather charming, actually. I think I'll call him oh, there's Harold. There's a lot of people the waiting. Foggiest idea why. You may find yourself running short on space in our initial hospital area. You can expand to other nearby areas by selecting them and paying a small fee. Uh, to whom I'm, I'm not sure. <gasps> well, That's an additional chance to kill patients. Running, let's talk that. about keeping our staff and patients happy. Let's inspect one of our doctors to grasp the full extent of their needs. Right. Through this panel, we can see the various qualities and needs that define our doctor. This is their mood. A happy doctor will perform their job efficiently, whereas an unhappy doctor is more likely to make mistakes. If their mood gets too low, they may simply leave. 
You can see the various thoughts and feelings impacting their mood here. For example, witnessing the death of a patient Undecorated. may result in a degree of staff momentary lounge. sadness. Staff lounge. Physical staff needs lounge. like hunger and energy are fulfilled by vending machines, staff lounges, toilets, and so on. By the looks of that. things, this individual needs to unwind in a staff lounge. All right, I guess I need to do that. This one's pretty straightforward. It's a staff lounge. Staff will go in there and lounge. There's a fire pit in everything. We considered a mindfulness cue, but people found the idea nightmarish. So they get this instead. I don't get it. I love the cube. I'll go in there sometimes just to scream at the walls. Great de-stressor. We'll need to build a staff lounge, lest our employees descend into absolute madness. I've done it. We should also ensure we provide both staff and patients with places to sit, uh, something to eat, some and food. toilets in which they may relieve themselves. Bear with. Hold on. What is that thing? Okay, I built a thing. Oh, here we go. Vending machines. Toilet pod. Yep. And a bin. Well, that's probably a good idea. All right, we should probably put some vending machines out here as well, like it just said. The required facilities have been installed and the number of organics who've relieved themselves in the hospital has slipped under the bar for legal concern. Bravo, Director. You have provided everything organics need for a state of mild comfort. Boom. Director, it's time to meet your marginally useful maintenance crew. This is a Medibot. They've been purchased at low cost and reprogrammed to maintain our equipment and clean up various forms of vomit. The robot is waving. Medi, are you waving? Are you waving your awful little hands? It appears that Medi wishes to speak to you. Uh, not to worry, I doubt it has much to say. Hello, new director. It's me, Medi. Heel says I'm a toaster. And that I might actually be useful if I was dropped in someone's bathtub. <laughs> yes, uh, that comment is slightly off out of context, Director, but you may rest assured that Medi has no clue what's going on. Well, I guess so. Also, he'll keep saying I'm a fake boy, and being programmed to imitate humanity is a disgrace. He's my best friend. Medi, you don't have any friends because you're not real. Of course I do. Because you're my friend. And so is this giant creature who's about to eat the station. Uh -oh, Bugger me. That? What in the world is going on? Hello there. I think it's okay, Heel. It's just a really big alien. First of all, Medi, it's a colossal. Secondly, please refrain from use of the term alien in reference to non-human sapiens. Director, the alien is somehow hailing us, though not on any identifiable frequency. It's almost as though it's directly pushing buttons inside the station's systems. And the absence of electronic and eukaryotic persons of Hello? Galactica. I am Bazanoros Orgoria. Baz. Baz is also fine. I like it. You've in even got a on your head, of mate. Brevity, I developed these painful glowing spots about mm, 4,000 years ago. I wondered if you could come and have a look at me. Director, this is an opportunity we can't pass up. Colossals are notoriously elusive. Few even get okay, to talk to how them, do we even let alone help get all him? up in their biology. Let's help him out. First, you'll need to dispatch a ship from the shuttle bay to take a biopsy. That'll let us take a look at all the deliciously novel gubbins inside our new friend. Okay, how do I dispatch? Oh, hello. The shuttle is ready to dispatch at your command, Director. Go. Sometimes the problem is too big for the hospital. We need to dispatch a shuttle. Okay, yeah. This is cool. And away she goes! 
our shuttle will collect the sample from bears via a gentle, non-invasive surgical translocation beam. It feels great. Like scratching an itch. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Ooh, that feels nice. A bit like scratching an old itch. Told ya. <laughs> the shuttle is back with the sample we just took. It'll now be unloaded from the shuttle in an adorable canister. AI-driven medical devices, which behave much like patients do, just with less, you know, brains. We'll need to send it to diagnosis to figure out our next steps. Remember, you can always select the relevant task in the objective window for more information. Director, we'll want that canister to make it through its diagnosis as quickly as possible. Okay. Fortunately, you can set it as a priority. Hit the priority button. Prioritizing a patient or canister in this manner will place it at the front of any queue it joins. You should use this for, no, well, anything you like, really, but emergencies in particular. Okay, I set it as a priority. Now what happens? This is really cool. It also looks very good graphically. I like it. Okay, I think our doctor is on break. I think she's going back. Okay. Do we need like more staff to deal with that? Thought I'd add some decorations, make it look better, you know? Baz's skin is remarkable. I've already identified seven brand new proteins. This will redefine our understanding of what meat can be. Despite his freaky space flesh, I don't see why we couldn't fix him up with a new cocktail from our skin lab. Now it's time for those canisters to go in the other direction. Let's fill some up, load them into a shuttle, and hose down our new friend with a pharmaceutical cocktail strong enough to melt turbo steel beams. Oh, okay, so these just... Oh, this is cool. All right. Oops. Let me prioritize the canisters. Okay, decorations pull. I mean, I'm trying. I don't have many options at the moment. I haven't unlocked things. Let's put some wall art around, look. A uh, director oh, you got heal? Some mean-looking mollusk just entered the hospital. Yes, Mary. Uh, those are vomitungs. They'll bite any sapiens they encounter, causing their victim to evacuate their guts directly onto the floor. Director, Mary is perfectly capable of dispatching these vomitungs himself. But if you fancy it, you can use the station's coils to eject the pests from our mortal coil. I did it. <laughs> just a, a little death-based pun for your private enjoyment. Can we speed up? Let's do a little bit of speedery. Because the shuttle's waiting for all four, so... What's wrong with this guy? He's like... Bridget doubloons. Oh my god. What's happened to you? You've turned into like a black hole. Oh, that's crazy. As you move the camera, like... I 
feel like we have a lot of patience and not enough room. Our canisters are brimming with our new colossal regeneration fluids and waiting in your docking bay. Hire another Let's doctor. get them sent out. I can't wait to see if this works. If it doesn't, we may all be going to jail. <laughs> Exciting! Dispatch the shuttle when you're ready, Director. Yep, going. This is so cool. She's away! Keep an eye on the display, Director. We'll see the fruits of our labors any moment now. Ta-da! Oh, that medicine of yours really hits the spot. Glad to be rid of that itch. It felt like there was something different about you. And there's the proof. Before I go, I collect trinkets. Things traded or earned. I find these exchanges build interesting bonds between cultures. Have some of this stabilizing solution as thanks. Thank you. Well... I'm off. Thank you, Galactic Air. I'm sure we'll see each other soon. Well, we've just treated a higher dimensional talking cetacean. I'm going to hold my breath until my heart rate comes down and map out these new organs. Maybe I'll name one after you. A delightful performance to watch, Director. The stabilizing solution Baz gave us has remarkable properties. It'll fully replenish the health of any patients you use it on. Rather handy if there are specific people you'd rather didn't, uh... Uh, die. Should you ever have need of more, you can make use of the craftium we've been collecting to fabricate them from the inventory panel. All right. Um. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. We can write Baz. <laughs> I, like I like the decorations. I'll be honest. This is cool. Our goal is to provide the best possible healthcare service, and we're constantly evaluated by a system known as hospital rating. Open the hospital rating panel now, and let's have a browse. All right. It's low. Welcome to the hospital rating screen. Here, we can review everything that's wrong with your hospital. Not to worry. Should it be terribly deficient, there are plenty of pro tips to explore in these various tabs. On this summary screen, we can review any common thoughts and complaints, as well as admire the potential oh, rewards yeah. you can earn. Feel free to peruse the remaining tabs at your leisure, or close the panel when you're ready to proceed. I see. Director, Ms. Orion has sent over the details of a new room. The training room is an environment in which our staff can gain experience with safe, gentle, ethical brainwashing with the memories of experts in their field. It can be a bit much for their neuroplasticity to fully absorb, as well as pass out which families actually belong to them. Nothing too serious, though. People can be trained with other people's memories? Can I go? No. Director, let's get a training room built so we can help our staff become their best selves whether they like it or not. A fine, fresh training room. Well, let's teleport a doctor in. They'll begin training immediately. Okay, we have a doctor that's... Here we go. Director? Heal? There's a little creature floating around. Oh no, not more random. Slarks are attracted by clean and tidy corridors. Collecting them will grant you. Out in here. Should I zap it? That's a Solark. Uh, Director, these critters are entirely harmless. And will deposit a large number of credits into our account when you cash them. That's Let's why please. they can open accounts of their own. I'm... The banking sector is a disaster. Ooh, free money. Like it. Okay. We just need to get our hospital rating up slightly. Hello again, Galactica. Oh, hello, you are. I thought I'd pop back in and offer you some of my wares. As thanks for I'll exchange any item for some credits. And just for you, there's always a freebie. Right now, I've got a holodoc, I Ooh. think you call it. 
Oh, and I've also got a Medibot. Found him adrift in space a while ago. He was just spinning, really. Purchase an item oh, and I'll I think transport we'll have it over to your the Medibot, please. As for the Hollow Dog, I must insist that you take it. He keeps popping into existence inside my spleen. Oh. There what? should be a good range of gubbins here. Dramatically increases room durability. Okay. Allows the room to rack up credits. I'll chuck it in. Just some bits and bobs, really. Thank you. What's this? Hollow dock emitter. Room upgrade, doctor replacement. The hollow dock emitter oh. Baz has gifted us is a valuable piece of kit. A room upgrade. Place it in one of our treatment rooms and it'll kick into action. Hollow docks are driven by advanced predictive AI. They're not sapient and thus require neither pain or rest. This would make them perfect doctors if not for the limitations on their AI, which prevent them from learning or demonstrating any personality whatsoever. These qualities do make them excellent corporate executives, however. Well, that's cool. Okay. Ah, one of our doctors has leveled up. Let's take a closer look. Select them when do? you're ready. Level 1 doctors will start out as trainees, and upon reaching level 2, you're able to assign them an expertise, which will allow them to work far more effectively in one specific room. Select an expertise to continue. Here, you can see the options for this doctor's expertise, which are based okay. on the rooms they've worked in while in your hospital. Choose one to continue. Oh, I see. It's a fine choice. Try to assign experts to the relevant rooms. It'll help keep your patients alive and your workforce content. Nice. Uh, I don't know. You can have... Maybe that one? You can have some diagnosis. Erica, something we haven't yet covered is Medibot modes. Hey, that's me! Yes, it is, Medi. Well done. Uh, Director, select a Medibot to continue. Yeah. Here, we can see the configuration of this Medibot. Adjusting this will focus them on specific tasks. You can also use this window to change the appearance of your Medibots, in the event that you share that particular fascination with our previous Director. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and with that, we've completed our orientation protocol. Excellent work. What's that thing? Loam balls are attracted by positive vibe happy patients, collecting them will grant you one loam like meat. Staff on break. Okay, I have spare staff though, no? Oh, there we go. They're just taking over. No? We're receiving a call from Dorian Salazar, the CEO of Salazon. Oh. This is Dorian Salazar, CEO. With which space creature am I speaking? Mr. Salazar, a very fine <laughs> this user. Really cool. You're through to the director's office. If you're a robot, well, that's a daring hire. Listen well, computer boy, to my terrible problems. My workers were performing an orbital trash discharge, and in a totally unforeseeable disaster, they were coated in unknown sludges. After they completed their assigned shifts, an intern noticed that their bodies had warped into some manner of transparent slime. Here then is my offer to your fine company. If you're able to keep some workers alive for their shifts tomorrow, I'll send you some space money. Of course, we'll send over a contract and then we can- That won't be necessary. Good luck to you and goodbye. Well, that's okay. delightful. Uh, Director, it sounds like we're in for an influx of emergency patients. Okay, well, um, 
There's a pause button and I feel like a di another diagnosis room may currently be required. So let's check another one here. We have extra doctors. Why would we not? And um... oh, we have extra things. Oh, we have one of these. Yeah, let's check one of them in there. Why not? Let's try and decorate it a little bit because they don't like it when it's undecorated, apparently. <sighs> Let's uh, get some more seats. I like the chairs with the plants. I think they're cool. I'm sort of hoping that the diagnosis doctor who's rank two will just kind of like go, I think they are. Yeah, it works. I like it. There's all kinds of weird bugs. What's that one do? Okay, it's really cool. All right, well, this is Galactica, um, as Director, you can see. the emergency patient from Saladon are now arriving, and they're in a wretched state. Okay, we'll thank you. We'll be lucky if most of them don't drop dead in the corridor. Um, as Let's you can see, it's a pretty awesome as we game. Can. Be sure to prioritize uh, it's basically them so they seem to like as quickly as possible. And I think now is the time to use that stabilizing hospital, solution you receive like from like space. Bad. And it's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, this is on Xbox Game Pass for PC if you did want to check it out and you have that. Uh, I'm going to leave this video here, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget if you like the videos to hit like button and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers guys!